Hey everyone, KIC here, grabbing a light machine gun, a knife, and we're just going to go run through four stores right quick, get some law enforcement to come out and see what the light machine gun looks like. Going to pop open the ATM real quick, grab some money, that's going to trigger the van showing up, and shortly thereafter, because I'm going to go loud, oops, Excuse me as my finger slips right there. As I was saying, I'm planning on going loud here. That's why I grabbed armor and a light machine gun. We'll get some law enforcement showing up and we'll get to see what the new weapons can do. Okay, here's the knife. I'm going to take this camera out. And I hear another one. I suppose it really doesn't matter taking the cameras out. This is just force of habit because I'm a stealth player primarily. Takes few seconds for law enforcement to show up as you know, so just uh, kill a little time here, pick this lock, see what's inside, and that'll give presumably a little extra cash for the end. Although there's nothing more frustrating than opening one of these guys up and finding it's completely empty when you just wasted that much time picking the lock, or worse, drilling it. Sounds like law enforcement is on the scene, and... Huh. Thanks, Bane. Kind of figured that out. Curious why there's a safe full of jewelry in a convenience store, but hey, I'm not going to ask too many questions. Let's just plot the machine gun and see what happens. You can see I have the laser on it, and this thing is not that accurate, just like the numbers say it isn't. Up close, it's taking these guys down pretty quickly, but so would most other things. I've read a little bit, just kind of seeing what people have to say about them, and based on what I'm seeing right now, I'm kind of understanding where people are not that excited by them in open spaces. Granted, maybe the Brenner is a little better. It might have a little more accuracy. This is the RPK, and it, as you can see, not super accurate at a distance, although part of that is just me. I'm used to using the sights, and you don't have sights on one of these guns because, well, break your shoulder or your face, so you work with what you have. I know there's someone else around, I'm not seeing them. So we'll just go ahead and see what happens here. I have a feeling there's going to be an escape. That tends to happen when you go loud like this, so there it is right there. Okay, so we're going to have an escape coming up in just a second, and that should give us a chance to see the machine gun in a little more action. If someone gets close enough, I might be able to give the knife a whirl, but I'm really looking more at the machine gun right now. I'm going to do another video with the knife, I think. Might try and do a uh, knife-only heist or something along those lines and see how that goes. I'm really not that great at that sort of thing, so I'm not expecting it to go well, but hey, it's worth a shot. And yes, I know there's no real need to use these right now, but I figure if I'm going to go ahead and ace cable guy, I might as well get some use out of the ties, right? Alright, last one. And it looks like we have some unhappy law enforcement, so let's go ahead and get the laser on and see what happens. Oops. Theoretically, there should be some cloakers running around too, so we might see one of them. That might change things. I already don't like this weapon on this map. In fact, I should have changed the secondary too, because I would have liked something with a little more range, since this has such poor accuracy. Look at this, it's crazy. I mean, yeah, like I said, I'm not... Okay, see, it's effective like that but an AK would have been effective right there, too. Okay, he didn't want to submit. I thought it might be fun to get someone on our side, but what can you do? You know, in reloading time, 
not that bad on this gun, really. There's a taser back there. Take him out. Take the shield guy out. Yeah, see, this thing is devastating at close range. Because these are not headshots. These are body shots. And it's taking these guys down quickly with enough ammo left over that you can still spray some bullets everywhere. Unlike, you know, some of the... the assault rifles where you're going to run out of ammo pretty quickly, even if you are pretty conservative with your shots. I'm just kind of spraying right now. I don't even really care, so I'm just curious to see what it all looks like, but I think the machine guns, they're going to be good weapons to use on heists where uh, you're in small, smaller confined areas, the bank heist, maybe uh, framing frame day one if you go loud, something along those lines. Maybe uh, fire starter day two loud, but for this sort of thing where you have wide open area, look at this, man. It's fun. I won't say it's not, but it's not the most accurate weapon in the world. So anyway, that's just me screwing around with the RPK. Like I said, Gauge Weapon Pack 2 just came out today. Thought I'd just have a little fun so you can see what one of those machine guns looks like if you maybe haven't had a chance to get around to it or you're not sure if you want to buy it. I'll see about getting something out there with a knife, but that's it for now, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later.